hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute uh, mermaid gown or mermaid wedding dress okay so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need one kind of yarn so I used this kind of yarn uh, it's in Korean so I really can translate it but as you can see it's uh, it says like 69 meters 30 grams and all that so this is how this is the kind of yarn that I used and also you're gonna need some decorations over here but that's optional and I used a crochet hook which is 2.0 millimeters okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with a chain 40 I already did that and then uh, we're going to start by doing again a chain one at the very end so that makes it a total of chain 41 and then from that we're going to start from the second uh, chain from the hook and we're going to do single crochet all the way through so we'll have a total of 40 stitches so you're going to go into the uh, second chain from the hook and do single crochet and then you're going to continue doing single crochet in every chain all the way through until the end okay so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay so you're going to continue all the way through until the end okay so after you get to the end of the first row uh, you're going to uh, take the other end of the uh, where we started and then you're going to slip stitch to form a ring so we're going to take the other end and slip stitch at the very first chain Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like and then after we slip stitch we are going to turn to the other side so I have to make sure it's tight enough okay so I'm going to turn uh, to the other side and then I'm going to do a chain one okay and also I have to make sure I do the right side like that okay so after I do a chain one I'm going to pick my marker and put it over here so that I know where to begin on the other uh, the next row okay and then I'm going to continue doing a single crochet all the way around until the end so we're going to have a total of 40 stitches so I do single crochet single Okay, so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way until the end okay so after you're done with the second round at the end you're going to do a slip stitch at the other at the beginning of the other stitch so you're just going to slip stitch and then you're going to turn around again and when you turn you're going to start again with a chain one and then after that we're going to do single crochet all the way around and repeat the same process when you get to the end uh, you slip stitch and then turn and do a chain one again okay so from the next row which is the third row until the 16th row you're going to repeat the same pattern all the way around until the 16th row so I'll see when you're done with the 16th row so that we start the 17th row together okay so after the 16th row this is how our dress looks like so now in our 17th row uh, we're going to start by doing a chain one okay and then after that I'm going to put my marker over here so that I know where I started okay so now we're going to do a, 
single crochet in the next 10 stitches so we're going to do uh, from the very end so single crochet single crochet one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and then after the ten single crochets, uh, we are going to decrease uh, one time. So I'm going to go into the next stitch, and then pull through, and then the back loop of the next stitch, pull through, and then pull through all the three loops together okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next 16 stitches so I'm going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen okay and then after that uh, in the remaining ten stitches you're going to do single crochet all the way around okay so you're going to repeat single crochet one two three okay so do single crochet until the end okay so after you get to the end uh, you're going to do a slip stitch and then we are going to turn and then we're going to start by doing a chain one okay after that we're going to do single crochet in the next eight stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three so continue until you have eight single crochets okay so after the eight single crochets we are going to decrease again one time so decrease Okay, and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next 14 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four okay so continue until you have 14 single crochets okay so after the 14 single crochets we're going to decrease again one time okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the remaining eight stitches so you're going to do single crochets and then you're going to continue until the end okay so, okay and then you're going to continue the single crochets until the end okay so when you get to the end you're going to slip stitch again and then we are going to turn okay so after we turn we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to start again by doing six single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and six Okay, and then after the six single crochets we're going to decrease one time so we're going to do a decrease okay and then after the decrease we are going to do single crochet in the next 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four 
okay so continue until you have 12 single crochets okay so after the 12 single crochets we are going to decrease again one time okay and then after that in the remaining stitches you're going to do single crochet all the way until the end so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay so continue until you get here at the end okay so after we get to the end we are going to slip stitch here and then we are going to turn again and then after we turn we're going to do a chain one okay so after the chain one we are going to do two single crochets in the first chain uh, in the first stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch and then after that we'll do single crochet in the next nine stitches so we do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay after the nine single crochets we are going to decrease one time so we're going to do a decrease and then we're going to do single crochet in the next 10 stitches so do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay and then after that we're going to decrease again one time so we're going to do one decrease And then we're going to do single crochet in the next nine stitches so you're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay so after that we have one stitch left here at the end and in the last stitch we are going to do two single crochets so i'm going to do two single crochet in the last stitch and then from this row we won't join uh, we're not going to join because it's the upper part so we're just going to turn so we're not going to slip stitch and then after turning we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end okay so you have a total of 34 single crochets so you do single crochet and then single crochet okay so continue doing single crochet all the way around until the end Okay, so after you get to the end, uh, you're going to turn and then you're going to do a chain one. Okay, and then we're going to repeat the previous row uh, for the next 10 rows. So which is from row 22 until row 31. We're going to do single crochet all the way around and then when you get to the end, you're going to turn. Okay, so do that for the next 10 rows and then after you're done with that, I'll show you how to do the 32nd row. Okay, so after the 31st row, this is how our dress looks like. Okay, so in the next row, uh, we're going to turn and do a chain one. So in the uh, 32nd row, we're going to start by doing 11 single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet one, two. three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, and then after 11 single crochets, we are going to increase in the next stitch. So we are going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then after that, we are going to do uh, 10 single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we are going to increase again. So you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch, and then after that you're going to do single crochet in the remaining uh, in the remaining eleven stitches. So continue doing single crochet single crochet all the way until the end okay so after that from row 33 until row 38 we are going to repeat by doing 11 single crochet then increase and then uh, in the next step we are going to do instead of 10 single crochets we are going to increase by two stitches so we're going to do single crochet in the next 12 stitches and then increase again and then we do single crochet in the last 11 stitches so it's going to keep repeating that like that with the mid row single crochets increasing by two so in the next row we'll do uh, 11 single crochet then increase and then single crochet in the next 14 stitches and then increase again and single crochet in the last 11 stitches okay and then in the next row you do 11 single crochets and then increase and then uh, single crochet in the next 16 stitches so you can see we are increasing the middle single crochets by two each and then increase again and single crochet in the last 11 stitches so I'll show you uh, in the 33 row and then you can do the others alone okay so we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to do single crochet in the next 11 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 okay and then after that we are going to increase in the next stitch okay and then after that uh, the middle stitches are going to increase by two stitches uh, so we are going to uh, do 12 single crochets to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 and then you're going to increase in the next stitch and then after that you're going to do single crochet in the remaining 11 stitches so you're going to continue and do single crochet single crochet okay so continue until the end 
so when you're done with that in the next row which is the 34th row you're going to repeat the same thing but instead of uh, 12 single crochet you're going to do 14 single crochet here and then repeat the same pattern all the way so you're going to keep repeating that until row 38 okay, so after the uh, 34th row so the 35th row the middle stitches will be 16 stitches and then uh, the same count of the stitches on the other part and then uh, 36th row will have 18 stitches in the middle 37th row will have 20 stitches in the middle and then 38th row which is the la uh, which is the last row of this pattern will have 22 stitches in the middle so I'll see when you're done with the 38th row so that we start the 39th row together Okay, so after the 38th row, this is how our dress looks like. So we're going to start uh, making the 39th row. So you're going to turn and do a chain one. And then we're going to do single crochet in the next seven stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four five six and seven okay and then after the seven stitches we are going to do a chain ten so we're going to do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay and then after the chain ten we are going to skip the next nine single crochets so you're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you're going to skip and then uh in the next stitch uh in the next 16 stitches we are going to do single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 13 14 15 and 16 okay and then after the uh, 16 single crochets we are going to do a chain 10 so we're going to do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're going to skip again the next nine stitches so we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're going to do here single crochets okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining stitches okay so single crochet one two three four five six and seven so seven single crochets okay and then after that we're going to turn and then we're going to do a chain one okay after the chain one uh, we're going to start by doing a single crochet in the next six stitches 
so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then after that we are going to uh, decrease one time so we're going to do a decrease okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next eight chains so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then after that we're going to decrease again one time so we're going to do one decrease and then do single crochet in the next 14 stitches so we're going to count single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen okay and then after that we are going to decrease one time so we're going to do a decrease and then we do single crochet in the next eight chains so we do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then after that we are going to decrease again one time and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining uh, six stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and in the last uh, stitch we do single crochet six okay after that we're going to turn and then we're going again to do a chain one so this is uh, this will be our last row the one that we are doing which is row 41 so we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches so we're doing single crochet one two three four and five and then after that we're going to decrease one time 
So we're going to do a decrease. Okay, and then we're going to do single crochet in the next eight stitches. So single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and then after that, we're going to decrease again one time. So we're going to do a decrease. Okay, and then we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches. So single crochet one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then after that, we're going to decrease again one time. So we're going to do a decrease. And then we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to decrease again one more time. And then we we'll do single crochet in the next eight stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then we're going to decrease again the last time and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining five stitches do single crochet one two three four and five Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to do a chain one and then cut off my yarn. Okay, and then you can do the rest of the finishing. So as you can see, this is how our dress looks like. So pretty. Okay, so after that, I'll show you how to do the bottom part. Okay, so the bottom part is quite easy. So I'm going to start first by attaching my yarn at the very uh, bottom part of the skirt and then I'm going to uh, pull my yarn through so after that I'm going to do a triple crochet so I'm going to yarn over two times and then I'm going to go into the next stitch and pull through okay so sorry guys about uh, the knot over here just had to tie my yarn like that so and then after that you have one two three four four loops on your hook so you pull through two loops and then after that you have three loops so you pull again two loops and then you have two loops left so you pull again the other two loops okay and then after that you do a chain one and then do again a triple crochet in the next stitch so you go into the next stitch or the next chain because the bottom part we did the chains so and then you do again a triple crochet so one two three and then you do again chain one and then repeat that again and do a triple crochet And then do chain one okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end one two three and then 
chain one okay so keep repeating that all the way until the end okay so after you're done with the first row of the bottom part this is how it should look like so we're going to keep continuing like that so in the last chain you're going to do a chain one and then you're going to continue with the same pattern so you're going to go in the first triple that we did and then you're going to do another uh, treble crochet so you're going to go inside the uh, the next treble and do another treble and then you're going to do a chain one and then continue the same pattern again until the end so do a treble and then chain one and then continue like that chain one so you're going to keep continuing like that all the way until your skirt is long enough or until uh, the way you want your bottom part to look like and then after that I'll show you how to finish up okay guys so as you can see I already finished making the bottom part so I made a total of 10 rows so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yes so that it's long enough uh, to reach right over here above the shoes so that's how it looks like and then I put this band that I bought at the nearby store around the waist or you can uh, decorate your dress the way you want it to be so here at the back I'm just going to put a little button at the top or uh, you can stitch it if you want okay or you can put just some little buttons all over and then you're going to close the gap so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you if you have any question you can ask in the comments below and also you can check out my other videos I upload one video every week until next time bye